Did y'all ever have an abortion? Hey guys, hey guys welcome, welcome back, back to another video. video it's Babs and Amara the newly engaged couple for live here with another video with another Q and hey Q and hey Q and hey okay. <laughs> Q and hey <laughs> hey guys welcome back to another video this is the much awaited Q and, Q and A. A questions and answers that to we, all your questions, guys. Ah, I know you guys are ready. You guys you are. Guys. I won't be like you guys bombarded us. With ah, you guys even gave us questions. Though. So you have been ah. lost in your mind that you are keeping. <laughs> wow, babe. Just go back to that video and see the questions you guys put there. Ah, ah, so questions were very deep very questions. Deep. deep questions. Somebody even ah, you did that other question. I saw it, but ah. I was shocked. Try. Come on. They'll just give you, they'll yeah, just stretch yeah, yeah, a little. They'll just give, give you his hand like he wants to stretch it to your feet. Ah! Those simple questions that people are already asking. Different things. Ah, now wow. Nah, Who now saw this question? You guys, you guys really, really. Ah, you gave it to us. You gave it to us. Hot, hot. Um, we promise we'll give it back to you guys. And so, we have to fulfill our promises. Yeah, we have to fulfill our promises. So, we're so, finally here too. To answer. trade the questions, yeah. Are you ready, babe? I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> they wanna know. Everybody want you want to know. You want to know. You want to approve. You wanna know everything. You wanna know. <laughs> so we'll give you a proco today. Okay? Are you okay, ready, you guys? You please. Know everything. Grab your popcorn. Yeah. No drink for us. Nothing, nothing. Okay. We're, okay, we're answering the questions. Yeah, so. so we're in the hot seat. We're on the hot seat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you guys grab your popcorn, grab your wine, your juice, and yeah. I'm still ready. Okay. <laughs> Bob's will be reading the question and we'll be answering, we'll be answering together. together. Yeah. So I think you should read the question. I should read it. Yeah. Okay, give me okay. let me read it. <laughs> Because I'm <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, calm down, relax. Okay, relax, relax. <laughs> First question. Okay. My question goes thus. <laughs> Wait, stop reading it like that. <laughs> okay, my question goes like this. How did you guys meet and how old were you both then? Um, so how did we meet? We met in Ukraine. In a McDonald's. Kharkov City. Yeah. McDonald's. Yeah. In 2016. Yeah. And how old were we? How old was I? You were, I think you were 17. Yes. Yeah, she was 17. I was 17. And I was like 20 something. <laughs> <laughs> was I was it? like 22. Yeah. I was five, yeah, 22. Yes. Yeah. So we met in McDonald's. If you guys have seen our, our first Q&A on this video, yeah, you will see it. That was there. like, I think that was like three years ago. So we talked about when we first met and everything. Yeah. Yes. So congratulations guys. Thank you, Queen. My question, how did you guys meet and how old were you? How old were you? Babs. No, how did you guys How meet? did you guys? And how did you, Babs, know ah, that you wanted to, to spend, spend the, the rest, rest of, of your life, life with Amara? Amara. So we've yeah. answered the first part of the question. So the second part, how did you know you wanted to spend the rest of your life with me? Um, you know, when I met Amara, number one, she was she was different. No legend is that smelling now. <laughs> she was different from all, all other girls I've met um, in my life. And there was something unique about her and something that reminds me of home and that reminds me so much of my mother and she she has this caring attitude she's this um and she's smart that was one thing i i, I love I, lo I like smart people intelligent people and when she was talking i that first caught my attention and 
the more I got to know her, the more intrigued I am about her. I was intrigued by by her whole personality and I got to know her better and yeah and I was like when I actually now knew that she was the one was I was in a in a kind of a very big situation then and she I didn't have the power to take myself out of that situation. She too she doesn't have the power to take me out of that situation but the way she was able to come up with a solution so fast and so quick it, it just reminds me so much of my mom the fact that she could come up with a solution to be able to help me and take me out of that mess and that was that was divine and i was like no she's definitely one she's definitely one and the fact that from there we we're, we're like this we're like Bonnie and Clyde doing a lot of stuff together and um, our work ethic was was it was divine too because there was always positive and and great results from anything we we, we collaborate our efforts to do I was like no this 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 is destiny I can't stop this you know when they say this your bone for your bone your your you know I'm gonna I'm gonna I can talk I can talk forever about it because because God gave God, God gave it to me. I can talk about this forever, so you can get tired of hearing about this. I'm gonna keep talking about this. Yeah, that's the new Amara is the one. Thank you for your speech. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your speech. How did, oh, how did you know I'm the one? You guys know us. How did Amara know I'm the one? Maybe it's in the question. Okay, 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 okay. Let me relax. Let me relax. But how do I know you're the one? I don't know you're the one. Eh? It's not I'm the one. So who am I? Tell him no. Hey! Jesus! <laughs> Jesus! Engagement in the in the fire! In the one! In the one! Jesus! It's not I'm the one! Hey! <laughs> no, no, no. Be my man, guys, Jim Jar. After after my speech, after my. Now you guys you still don't have the one. Speech. No no no, I know you're the one. Which you don't have the one? I know you're the one. I know you're the one. Yeah, come on, my engagement ring. Come on, <laughs> Oh, take take us up. Leave it in your hand, John. <laughs> Never mind. <worry. laughs> How do I know you're the one, Babs? Hmm. Yeah, and Babs have been for a lot, guys. I just feel like. I bet I'm not going to talk again. Go <laughs> <laughs> Babe, let's go. Let's move forward. Next question. Next question. We still need to talk after this video. We need to talk about after this video. Yeah. But I, I don't know how you're the one, but you're the one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Next question. Next question. Okay. Where are you both from and where are you living now? Um, so. we are, we're Nigerians. Yes, I'm from Imo State. I'm Igbo, and he is. I'm from Ikiti State. Ikiti, and mm -hmm. he's Yoruba. Yeah. And where are you guys living now? We are currently living, living in, in, the in the Netherlands. Yeah. Netherlands. Yes. Mm. Next question. Okay. When is the wedding? Will it be in Netherlands or Nigeria? Of course, it has to be in Nigeria. Nigeria. You have to go pay the seat. You have to. You have to. Yeah. You have to. Yeah. You have to. Yeah. Where's the? So it has to be in Nigeria, like guys. I cannot have a wedding any. Uh, see, uh, I will wait. I will wait for whenever I can go to Nigeria to have that wedding yeah, because it, it, be. it just has. There's this vibe. Just there's this vibe. This, this vibe. vibe. This vibe. So whenever, yeah. It's gonna be Nigeria, and yeah, when is the wedding? Um, we're still sticking to the, so to the, the original, original plan, plan around um, um 2024. 2024. So we're planning. So, but it's not gonna be more than two years. But we're really planning to have like a dream wedding. Yeah, our, it has to be our dream, be, dream uh, wedding, yeah. like dream. At, at, at a particular standard, you get me? Yeah. So, so <clears throat> Amara, this is for me. During the seven years of dating, have you ever had doubts about the fact that Babs is the man of your life? You don't ask you now, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we we didn't feel actually ask you the question okay, now. Okay. And also, Babs, 
have you ever had doubts about the fact that Amara is the woman of your life? Okay, mine first. Um, of course, guys, if, if I will not come here and lie and say yes, of course, I've had doubts that Barb is the one is the man of my life. Of course, we've had a lot of ups, good times, and we've also had a lot of bad times, guys. We've had a lot of bad Those times. times. Makes us stronger. Yes, so like, us... especially when we're in that bad state or bad moment or bad situation between us. Yeah, I really had doubts, guys. Yeah, I checked out a lot of times, but yeah, now God be the glory and all the all adoration and majesty. Yeah. No, you, you, you don't. You don't have doubts now. I don't have doubt now, and even if I have doubt, it's too late, guys. Your doubt has been engaged. Yeah, definitely. Engaged <laughs> and for you? Um, yeah, of course, definitely. Uh, definitely, if you're in a relationship with somebody, there's sometimes that you have doubt. You have um, unsure yeah. um, certainty of the future. So with Amarachi, yeah, times I have doubt, and there are times that I feel, especially during our most heated yeah we have arguments we have forget the fact that we we show you a glimpse of how our company it looks nice it looks cute but there are some times that we clearly have um heated conversation heated arguments and um and sometimes outburst of anger and we say like bad stuff to each other and during those times yeah we you are you begin to have like um a kind of um uh, a kind of reflection like do you do you really want to spend the rest of your life with this person yeah. but when you look at the good moments and you see that the good moments they overshadow this one or two times of of bad events years up so you, you you know that yes you stay clear with that you're in a good in a good part yeah. yeah next question how did you both manage medical studies relationship and social media yeah, we just manage it. Guys. Yeah, we manage it. Like yeah. we just try to find a balance. And, and obviously, when we started, we weren't doing any social media, anything. Babs mm. was. I was the, actually the one who was doing it, being into social yeah, media. Yeah, he was doing and comedy, and, and I was just on my entertainment yeah. stuff. And I was on focus. I was the hustler. <laughs> she was the bookworm. Yeah, I'm a bookworm, so, guys. I'm really, really a bookworm. So I was always focusing on my books and mm. school and everything until i joined the whole social media thing but we still yeah. found a way to balance to it balance didn't really everything. affect anything like it's just to set your priorities right and yeah. know how to balance things so you shouldn't get in the way of each other yeah anyway yeah uh how did you handle living together mm. yeah guys we just how do we handle it we just it just grew on us yeah it just grew on us that's where i put it yeah literally. because when we started guys let me give you this story when we started we, uh, we couldn't when we were away from each other we couldn't undo not seeing each other every day like almost every day she was staying in the hostel staying in the hostel too yeah so like almost every day we just have to like see each other that was the way we were so fond of each other yeah then we just said that we just have to move in together and when we moved in together like we just yeah just 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 live learn from it you learn just from blend, it, know blend, our, yeah. understand our differences our similarities know how to Work to manage things. work it, manage boundaries and yeah. all that, yeah. So just you just I, I felt we understand and we understood each other better. Yeah. And, yeah. How did you handle quarrels and arguments in your relationship, guys? <laughs> um basically quarrel, um, arguments I imagine you know she, you know the way she talks. She she's gonna she's she's like I if she's not doing medicine, she will go for she'll go for maybe law or something. She can be so argumentative, yeah. but the thing is that um, in the midst of all these arguments and heated conversations, at the end of the day, we just we sit it out and try to talk about it and try to establish um, boundaries yeah. and try to to um, to talk about the relationship to make it how we make it better and better how and we will improve it, it the yeah. next time and make arguments. LD. You know, you can have like LD, yeah, can LD have also, arguments. Yeah, yeah so. So yeah, quarrels yeah will happen. Mm -hmm. It will always always happen. It's always but it's happen. always how you solve it. Yeah, At the and end set of boundaries the day, and set um just 
have boundaries. That's the only thing. We have we have boundaries about using cuss words. Yeah, those kind of things. All those kind of things. So or don't don't tell someone to shut up or, or don't or tell me get in your ash tone, or Don't kind of shout. Thing. You know those kind of things. So you don't set bounds on what you what you should not do. Yeah, and sticking by it. And yeah. then sticking by it. So if well, somebody crosses the line, yeah. ah, God. I stay in the zoo. Zadu, I'm a babu. I live in the zoo. Zadu. Ah! No, guys, don't don't fight. Just set your boundaries. And ladies, let me tell you this, something that has worked for me. Men will always want to be right. They, uh, but you have to you guys, hold on. You guys, have to be right. Guys, let me Women, tell you what we are always me. right. <laughs> Women will always want to be right. Well, you men, just just stay your cool. Let me tell you what. When, to once do. you get eaten, just just leave them. Let, let me them tell talk. You what to do. Let them do the talking. Let me tell you well, what you know what happened. Eh? Listen, listen. A- after five minutes, their head will calm down. They will be the <laughs> one to come and meet you, and they will, they will be the Let one. me tell you what to do, women. If when you are angry, you by shout it. It's not right. It's your fault. It's you. It's you. It's you. Ladies, just keep quiet because no guys. When we are fighting, a bomb used to just. Come out from your mouth. Guys, stop, just stop. keep quiet. No, both guys. of us cannot keep quiet. <laughs> I'll keep quiet, quiet, then you would be the one shouting. So when I'm keeping No, I'll be the one I'll be keep the one quiet. Be. He will guys, apologize keep quiet. later. Guys, keep quiet, you apologize later. The, the, the end product is that both of you should not be shouting. If one person shouts, if one person keep quiet, shouting. if one person. Okay, just just leave, just leave the scene. <laughs> leave the crime scene. Leave it. Escape. <laughs> but anytime, anytime she's like a ticking bomb, just take left. If she's coming right, take left. <laughs> Avoid. That's it. You just yeah, you just learn from it, guys. Yeah. Next, next question. Mm-hmm. Did tribalism affect your relationship, especially with family? No. Honestly, I, I didn't really know anything about tribalism. Yeah. It's when I'm dating my child. I wasn't even. It's just like okay, maybe later in the relationship when people are talking about oh, you guys are uh, Yoruba and Igbo, like tribalism. How do you guys? Because. We both met abroad. We both, I don't know, nothing like tribalism. We are just, I met her, we met each other, we knew each other for our character and everything. You get, Abby? Yeah, it wasn't, so, yeah, there was really nothing about tribalism with um, our families or anything. anything we just no. normal Nigerians. No. Yeah. Um, how many years into the relationship did you guys start living together? After. Three months. <laughs> no, no. After one year. After, after one, one year, year because yeah. when I came, I was I came to Ukraine, 2016 November, yeah. and so obviously I was in the hostel, and he was in the hostel too. So I already paid for the hostel to live there for one year. Mm-hmm. So after the one year, I just like peace out, and that's when we started living together. Because she couldn't handle staying alone without me. It's not about staying day. alone. I just didn't she like the hostel. Couldn't handle not seeing me every day. She's always coming to my hostel to 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 stay with me ah, to disturb me. My hostel was too. cockroach infested. <laughs> oh sorry, <laughs> I hated my hostel. You know I like. How does your own hostel look like? You know that you like trip toilet look oh, like. Oh God! You have to do the leg like this to urinate. <laughs> you are talking about my own. Okay, guys, it was bad, but I just hated the hostel. And so when when I was trying to find an apartment, we just said, okay, let's just live together. He was forcing that he wants to live with me, you know, vibe with me. Make the mouth, I was just to vibe with me. I don't vibe with you, just make the mouth. <laughs> Anyways, next question, babe. Congratulations, guys. Amara, how did you patiently wait for seven years? Did you at some point feel you were already playing the wife role? Okay, let me tell you guys this. So, when I started dating Babs, I was 17. I was very young. I was a kid, basically. And you're a kid with um, with a mature woman brain. You say you're a kid. <laughs> yes. So when you guys say I waited seven years, I wasn't waiting seven years. I just I just grew like like this is this is meant to be like my normal age because I'm like 24 now. So like from that time, I was just living my life like teenager like that like that like that. I'm not waiting for it to happen. And I, for me, even if I started dating Babs this year, I would feel this is the right time. Even seven years ago, that would probably not be the right time because I was just a kid. I was just, I just started university. You understand? So I was never waiting. I never waited patiently for anything to happen. I was just growing, I think, together with Babs. Yeah. Yeah. And that's it. 
and playing the wife role of course because we're living together obviously i felt that way a lot of times but yeah i just i was, I was playing the husband role too now <laughs> I'm most excited. I'm most excited. <laughs> okay, next question. And this question is especially for Babs. Okay. And if you lie, Ogu will strike you. <laughs> Ogu will strike you. Babs, have you ever wait, cheated? Wait, wait. <laughs> Let me answer. Uh, Babs, it. have you ever cheated on Amar? No. Ah, you answered too fast. That's you have. Answer too fast. You all about you. The question is for Babs, not for Amara. What is it about? If you lie, <laughs> I'm going to strike you! <laughs> Did you cheat on me? Yes. This one you have been saying yes, yes, yes. You need to have asked this question for saying yes, yes. Because I want a stupid question. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Honestly. Eh? I, I did not. You answer too fast. Is it yes? <laughs> eh? I answer too fast, so that means I was, I'm was i lying there, so it's no. No, that means you are. Pam, you are. <laughs> <laughs> don't confuse yourself here. How did you get Amara to dress up with without her suspecting? This was on our mm. engagement day. Ah, let me tell you guys. <laughs> on to be ah. honest, I thought Amara she, she she knew. I was so scared. Even I was panicking. I got the dress. I thought you would because. Basically, I've been doing all these nice things. That's why I feel like we should not really suspect because sometimes we go on dates yeah. and maybe maybe for TikTok videos, we, she dresses very well and maybe that's why she didn't suspect. Yeah. And I, so I thought it was one of those, are one normal, of those are normal, things. normal, normal things. Yeah, so maybe that was why. Because even after the whole stuff, I asked her that, did you at one point suspect? She said she didn't. So. Yeah. I was glad the plan was well executed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Next question, guys. What? Congratulations. Uh, what are your thoughts on birth control, and what is your experience? Our thoughts on birth control, guys. Um, control the birth when you can control the birth. Yeah. As medical medical students. Yeah. As a medical inclined couples it's advisable be on birth control so that there won't be a story of another day yeah yeah um will you have a traditional wedding um, yeah yeah of course yeah of course next question first of all i'm really happy for you guys thank you what's the time range or estimated time for your for when the wedding will be We've said it already. We've said it already. 2024, maximum, maximum two years. Yeah. So. Because we want the wedding to be perfect. Yeah, and all our friends to be there. So yes. everybody has to be. Because now all our friends are all over the all world. Over the world guys. Yeah. So we have to be in a comfortable and a very convenient time for everybody to come. Yeah. Yes. Next question. Um, congratulations, guys. My question is where were your parents always in support of a relationship from the jump? How did you know you? we're ready to move in with each other the second part of this question we've said it several times but the first one were your parents always in support of a relationship from the jump um i would say yes they didn't really know about it for like yeah. like so many we kept, years we kept away from our parents yeah even my mom i kept away from her for for i think for up to three years or so mm, no years. not really like after like one year why one year yeah, his mom knew really early. Okay, my mom knew really early. Yeah, your his mom, mom re knew your mom really early, but my family, I didn't want to tell them. Because I feel they'll be much more a little bit sensitive because she's a girl. And yeah, yeah, so I didn't tell my parents for like so many years. They probably knew like, like uh, uh, one year or two years ago. Oh, three years, I'm sure three years after. <laughs> yeah, I mean a go. So like just okay, one yeah, year yeah, ago, yeah. two years ago, or maybe after four years of our relationship yeah. or so or five years. African parents with the African parents. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, next question. Um how old are you guys? What's the age difference and congratulations on your engagement? Um how old are we? 
the age difference is five years. That, yeah, the that, age difference is five. So just years. add one or two, one or two. Yeah, guys, from, just, from, the, from what we've been saying before. And you, yeah, the age yeah. difference is five, five years. years. Yeah. So I'm my elder, elder, elder brother. See me, they respect me. The, in the. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> My question is all about what advice can you give someone in a relationship for eight years and will you guys marry this year? Finally, what kept you guys going in the midst of positive and negative experiences from each other? Um, um, first of all, what advice would you give someone in a relationship of eight years? Personally to me, I don't like to advise people. Yeah. Yeah, I, get, I get a lot of questions like this in my DMs, like people Tell him to advise them about their relationship. I don't like to give advice because I feel like everybody's relationship is different. Yes. That's number one. And you, um, your relationship journey is different. Like everybody is different. So you just focus on your oh, love focus, journey yeah. and um, try to look at the strengths in your relationship and also look at the weakness in your relationship and try to focus more on the strength in your relationship. And, and if it works, it works. And if it doesn't, yeah. it doesn't. It doesn't. ATS can be. Like mm. in my case, eight years can be from when I was sixteen, mm. and I, or when I'm seven. I was seventeen. Mm -hmm. Or eight years can also be some for someone else, starting from when they are twenty five, and then eight years after. Yeah. Like that is something. Mm -hmm. So it's like it's two different there, age Just sets. just it like there's no guideline to anything. Yeah. In this world, there's no guideline to anything. Like whatever works for you might not work for another person. So just figure out what works for you and capitalize on it. Yeah. yeah. Will you guys marry this year? No, we won't marry this year. And mm. what kept us going in positive and negative? Uh, just understanding each other. Like mm. what kept us going is that we and anytime we have a problem or like we always try to look at the good things that have happened so far, you know? And when you try to reflect on the good things, it kind of makes you, you know, want to yeah. go ahead and go do more. The good memories. Because if you f f fixate yourself on the negative things, trust me, you guys will you rob go, yourself go, of a yes, lot. Yes, of yeah. a lot of happy moments. Yeah. You rob yourself of that. So, yeah. in that negative moment, you always try to look at the positive things and why we have been together. Like, yeah. what's the reason? Yeah, what's the reason? What's the reason? And also give room for those positive experiences too, because. I mean negative give us give room for negative experiences because then you learn yeah. you appreciate your positive experiences more yeah. and yeah stuff like that. Uh, see they giving them into the uh, relationship expert. <laughs> give me God wow this is funny <laughs> I say okay next question love you guys my question during the seven years has lack of money ever been a problem between you two? Ah yes, yes. If, yes. 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 <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> ah, guys. Yes. Lack of money has. Yeah. It's. It's. A lot. Yeah. Life. Life should have shaggy. Honestly. But yeah. Thank God we overcame. We, we are still. We are still working. Yeah. We're we are still not even able to reach there. Well, yeah. Because we. <laughs> You know, when you when you when you, when you get to a level, like one thing about money is that you want to have this. When you have this, you still want to have this. More, still want to have yeah. this. You want to have this. So, but the major thing is to be comfortable in this life. That's just the major thing. I because see. not having money, being in a situation where there's no money, is not a good state. It's not a good state. Especially in a relationship, because it it could it could bring up ugly moments. Ugly moments. Ugly moment. It makes you feel frustrated with yourself, frustrated, with each other. It's not good. It's if you make if you make the love die, die. He really if you make your love die, <laughs> so yes, it's crazy. And I um, mean, it's uh, there are many, there are many, there are many, there are many of those moments. There are many, there are many instances. Many we can't even start mentioning. Yeah, we can't even start mentioning. But the major thing is that um, we didn't give up, and especially when you have um, a supportive wife, understanding, person, understanding yeah. person, and and the Osla too, like you, because uh, man. It's crazy. I remember when we had nothing. I was hustling. I was trying to also to do party and she too was she was at the bar selling drinks too. Yeah. For me too. Guys. And it was crazy. So but there are moments like that, there are down moments, time I couldn't pay my fees. And yeah. I, I had them um, I had a, a car I was in for taxi then yeah. to make money. The car was it even to make money. <laughs> the car was the car was even giving problem to make money. I was money. spending money on the car then. Yeah. It was crazy. Yeah. And no, my mother was like, ah, you haven't paid your school fees and you have this car lying down. 
sharply. I was even looking for buyer. Nobody refused to buy the car. But the way I'm right to sell that car I today, I don't even understand. Sharply, she sold that car. She she brought the money out and was able to pay my fees and everything. Yeah. So there yeah, are moments like that, and that's why I'm really appreciative for the person I am with because whether it rain, whether it's sunshine, it's sunshine, she's it's always there. Yeah. She's always. Yeah. And you too, you're always there for me. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm always there for you too, because you're always there for me. <laughs> That's it. Next question. Okay. It's, it's the person says, sorry you. So, sorry, please, to ask. I'm in a kind of relationship. I'm getting engaged soon. And it's been hard to keep up with my sexual relationship with my partners. Ah! Uh, is it partners? It's plural. <laughs> <laughs> so so I wanna know how you guys were able to keep up on your sexual relationship so I can learn from you guys own as well. I don't this question is I'm not I'm not understanding. You are engaged and you okay you have sexual partners and you are getting engaged. Ah. Why are you being? You are not ready to be engaged, though. <laughs> well, I don't like to talk on all these matters. I but, don't know. But my my dear, please uh, just find one partner, stick with one partner, <laughs> and be sexually maybe oriented with one partner. Maybe it was a typo. It was a typo. I don't know. Okay, it's better be because I don't understand your question. Sorry. Yeah. I, I can't. I can't really answer. So, next question. <clears throat> to keep up. Fast or slow? <laughs> what do you mean keep up or that? <laughs> Maybe let's move on. Okay. Um. Okay. What next question? What made you know that Amara was the one? We've answered that question yeah. before. Mm -hmm. What are some of the triggers or actions that one did to the other, which made you guys know you were meant for each other? We've answered that we've already. Answered that. Yeah. Um. What's your take about? boyfriend and girlfriend living together um about my take about boyfriend and girlfriend living together i don't go by the rules yes so if you think that works for you do it do it if you think it doesn't work for you do it mm -hmm. but living together comes with a lot of things yeah. so you have to be prepared for so yeah if you, you are sure you're prepared for that you go, for, go it. for it and that's what i have to say yeah <clears throat> next question um i'm um, Amra, my question is for you. Being a Nigerian, how did your mom take it knowing you were living with your boyfriend, now fiancé, and did she give you the pep talk of not getting intimate with him while you lived in the same house? Guys, African mm. parents, mm. yeah. Especially when you think you know them. I yeah. thought me I'm cool with uh, your mom oh, until she fired me <laughs> last two days. They're like, hey! I thought we were, we were over this, I thought we were cool with this, but yeah, okay. obviously she's still not cool with it, even after engagement to yeah. for African parents, African, African parents, parents. African parents. Well, I yeah. don't know, but I feel with time she would she would understand better the children of this generation. African not African parents will always be, but yeah. times have changed, things have changed, so there's sometimes you need to like sometimes be with your partner. Understand, get to understand your partner and stay with them. Yeah, so they, yeah, because you're spending the rest of your life with this kind of person, yep. with the person. So you have to be, you, you have, have to, to know be, how they you have to be sure how, all you have to, yeah, yeah, you have that's to know how, how it feels to live. That's, yeah. that's where I feel. So I have to be fully adapted to you. Yeah. Yes, my <clears> question <throat> is how did you guys continue school after you left Ukraine to the current location? How did you guys relocate and start life again? Yes, um. We are still. We, Babs is done with. I'm school. done with school. She's still in school. I'm still in school, but I'm She'll in my final year. year. Yeah. I'll be done next month, mm. and I'll be uh -oh. doing classes online. My doctor, my <laughs> doctor. Oh, you joined the you joined the leagues of doctors. Yes. Sir. Very soon. Yes. Sir. Yeah. Congratulations. Yes, <laughs> so we've been having classes online, and that's what we've been doing. Yeah. And how we located to Netherlands. We I think a, we've, we've talked we about that. Video. In the, in, yeah, we've yeah. done a video about it that. It was a whole long journey, long journey of how we yeah. came here. Yeah. Um, uh, at what point of your relationship did you guys know you wanted to spend the rest of your lives with each other? Or better way to put it might be 
at what point of relationship did you guys start talking about getting married we started in talks about that i think last year yeah last year, yeah, last year, year yeah. because obviously i knew i was graduating and graduating, obviously i'm so like, we're like oh, yeah we need to settle down for reals for reals now oh, and reals. that's when we started Just to make it official and yeah <clears throat> have your parents always been in support of a relationship yes now they know they are in support of our relationship mm-hmm. Have you ever had any problems or fear due to the fact that you were from different tribes? No, we have no. never. No. Next question. I've been single for two years and I started dating one month ago. This guy called me, but I feel like it's not enough. Sometimes we talk for three minutes and he will tell me he has to pick a call. Is it normal? I talked to him about it and he said I should understand. And sometimes he says he's sorry. Today we had a little misunderstanding concerning it. He said it's... He said I'm not sympathetic and I should have asked him why he couldn't call me back and then he said it's because he's been busy the whole day. I should have asked about his well-being. I've called him twice today and he hasn't returned my calls. I'm thinking of ending things between us because I believe even if he's busy he would make time for important people in his life. What's your point of view? Any advice? Um, um first of all, you cannot just end relationship if you guys are really serious or if you yeah. think he is a very serious guy you cannot just end a relationship based on the fact that he didn't call you or you don't talk that much on phone or something like that mm-hmm. i feel like you guys just need to like talk together and try to like analyze it and have like a balance it should be obvious if he really likes you yeah well, so that's... if it's not that obvious then maybe that's maybe that's the case but if he really likes you it, it will be obvious he was gonna make time even if it's just one second to two seconds or three seconds just to call you and just like hello like i'm working now i'm busy or i'm you understand i will talk to you by this other time you should be able to make up time yeah so you guys should just talk about it maybe sometimes work can be overwhelming yeah, but sometimes really. relationship sometimes work can be overwhelming but i try to like you understand the understand. next question during your seven years together were there ever breaks like on and off and block on and block yeah you know yeah there were bricks or block and on block no yeah there were no block no. and on block but i don't there... that <laughs> <laughs> yeah but yeah there were really really tough times i told you guys yeah. told you guys before when ah we... yes i'll just leave the house you should not see me for like two, well, day, yeah, two days or two something days. i'll be in my friend place well you broke up with me several times when you were very angry yeah, likewise with you, you broken up with no, me. No, I haven't. Okay, you've threatened to broken up Yeah, break threatened, up with me. but Vav really, really me. broke up with me like maybe three times or so. But he liked me so much, so yeah, he had to come back for forgiveness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> cool. Apparently, I'm so annoying. What? <laughs> it is what it is. It is Next question, is. please. Next question. How did you both manage your finances? Oh god, this is so important. Yeah. Do you split bills or allocate responsibility to each other? Yeah. I think yeah, we allocate responsibilities. That's to that's each other. to each other. Yeah. Um, especially when we're like um when we moved in together. So we we allocated responsibility depending like, on on our income. Yeah. I guess if I'm getting like much money from where what I'm doing, I tend to like take like a higher like um, yeah depending on who depending, has more money yeah, at that money, point at that in point time. in time yeah so yeah try to look at responsibility not like we shared it like divide it into half yeah we no, just we, we, i will not do it efficiently yeah efficiently yeah but most times we we share mm-hmm. and she spends a lot <laughs> no you spend a lot <laughs> you spend more than me <laughs> you <gonna do> that? <laughs> Because that's why you said it first. Because you know, <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. you know now. Even when he does not have money, he has to buy that thing. <laughs> oh God. Anyways, did y'all ever have an abortion? Okay, what do you want me to answer you now? Who asked that question? I swear. Who asked this? No, there was, there was actually a point where we, we there was a pregnancy scare and. Having an abortion was in thoughts, and I know, I know, how much was like, what? That, like, it was like, babe, 
you, if you're gonna tell you, <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> say, let's you. not talk about this guy. I'm so scared of my parents that I would actually rather have that abortion. Let me tell you, I, yeah, I was like, if, if, if there's a pregnancy scare, I'm definitely gonna do it. And obviously, mm. it was legal in Ukraine, so it's not like she was. She was checking if it's legal. <laughs> she was checking. Yeah. She was checking the uh, complications. She was checking different stuff. But there was actually a time, but after that pregnancy scale, like, hmm, we actually need to be extra careful. Yeah, I, I didn't, to, I didn't want to, because need, that's, when, that's what made me realize that I was actually but, so scared of my dad. Hmm, hmm. I was so scared of my dad, like, that's what made me realize. So, hmm. guys, yeah. You need to be on bed control. You if, you, if, you, on, if you want to, do, I'm not telling you to do it, they want to do it though, hmm. but just do it at your own risk, yeah. if it's what you want to do. But it's not advisable, please don't. Yeah. I wouldn't yes. advise that. Okay. <laughs> 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 it means you <laughs> Why are you slapping? When I won't, <laughs> if you won't give me that, that you are not going to advise that. It's like if I give advice, I advise you not to do it. I advise you, <laughs> I advise you not to do it. You <laughs> can you. Hey, God. Ah! Yeah, I must. Please don't hurt this guy. <laughs> I was fucking scared. <laughs> so guys, I think we've covered everything oh, you guys need to know. That was, a lot, that was a lot of questions. You guys this video will be so long. It'll be so long. Oh, so if you've gotten to this point of this video, you guys, I give it to you. You tried. You tried. You tried. You tried. <laughs> anyway guys, that's it for this video. Do make mm. sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Yeah. And mm. I hope we answered your some of your questions, like the most important ones that you guys really wanted to know. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's yeah, it. For that's this it for video. this video. We will see you in yeah. our next video. And most importantly, guys, please, she has said it, but I'm repeating it again. Subscribe, guys. Yeah. Subscribe. We've not gotten to 20k. We have a goal of 100k. Yeah, guys, what, what's the, the year is going. You guys, please what's subscribe. Happening? Don't just watch and don't subscribe. Yeah, people are, no, some people are not, they've not subscribed. They are watching, they are watching. They just, they are just lazy to click to on just the subscribe, click subscribe and button subscribe. There. Please, just, guys, just, come on, subscribe. Returning subscribers and you, that you've not subscribed, subscribe. I mean, new subscribers. Uh, new subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. We'll see you in our next, next video. video. Yeah. Bye. Love you.